Hey, what's up guys? Man, gorgeous day. Uh, it's not super hot out, but I am sweating through my shirt. Not really sure what's causing that, but uh, let's get started. Well, you see I got a little uh, area cleaned out here so I can do a little bit of work. And you see what's sitting on the welding table. That's right, that's Crystal's cab hinge. We are going to try to repair that hinge today and uh, maybe get it back on the truck before I take off for work. So a couple of things about it. We've got a little bit of a war wound here from the cutting torch. And then if you remember right, this bracket is cracked in half up here and then it was very uh, poorly welded back together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first just to make sure we can, I'm first going to uh, take this uh, bolt out, these wedges out, and see if I can't press the pin out of here. And if I have to get the torch after it, well then, so be it. Let's check out this uh, Stanley brand worm gear wrench. I have a cheap set of tools I found in the truck. Well, that seemed just fine. Well, I mean, that looks dandy. Let's see. That popped out of there just fine. See, it's in there. I've got new ones. I uh, ordered them from Kenworth. I'm going to go ahead and check the part number on that. All right, uh, before I take it over to the press, I'm gonna get this uh, battle scar taken off of here. And uh, I'm gonna use the cutoff wheel first and uh, cut that bolt off. Then I'll use that 40 grit flapper wheel to uh, make her smooth and hand friendly. This little 18-volt uh, Makita 4-inch grinder really has earned back the money that I spent on it. Uh, it's not super expensive, and uh, I built all the bucket with this thing. Would you look at that? There is the part number K0281079. Huh, I wonder if anybody can find that thing out in the wild. That's nice. All right, let's see about taking this thing over to the press. Come on. Here we go. Oh man. I think this I think this thing weighs like Oh, it feels like 35, 40 pounds, I guess. Don't reckon you can lift that big old cab up with a chunk of aluminum. I guess it'd have to be this. All right. Put my safety glasses on. Okay. All right, so I can feel that, I can feel that the pin, if it were to come out, will go through the hole. However, I can also see that it's not gonna be fun.
Now what's likely to happen is we'll be able to get this puppy hot. And the pressure I already have on it is going to make that pop down. Then this thing is going to bounce out of there and fall in my lap. And I'm going to throw the torch and it's going to set something on fire. It'll be a chain reaction with a bunch of craziness. So let's just see how it goes, right? First of all, I'm going to set this rubber bushing on fire. You know, because why wouldn't I? And I'm going to heat up both ears of the hinge base. And then I'm going to heat up, hopefully, the entire midsection. Ooh, that was weird, wasn't it? We got a little, little torch going. Here, hold this right here. Don't aim it towards yourself. I gotta say a couple of swear words right there. Because, man, I'll tell you what, that hurt like hell just now. When the pressure came off that, when the pressure came off that, I was in the downstroke and it flailed my, these two together, my hand and this. Oh, man, my fingers are still crying right now. So, just so you know, <coughs> it's a little stinky in here, and I just buried that uh, cheap socket where the pin used to be. Let's give it a look. You can turn that red one off, the green one off. Oh man, I feel like I broke a couple of fingers there. Like seriously, ow. Like I seriously. I'm not super happy about it. Woo! Don't touch anything. <laughs> well, let's give it a little look over here. Alright, so you see my socket is probably super duper hot. Yep, it is. And that pin is super duper hot as well. And this finger, this fingertip, see where it blew the it just blew the thing open. Like, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it just blew the tip open. I smashed it so hard, it blew the tip open, which is cool. Uh, and it is super, super hot and spicy right now, in case you wondered. Uh, yeah. So, it feels like, it feels like, uh, I don't know if you can see this right here, this big lump right here. That wasn't there a minute ago, but, uh, you know, stuff happens when you're out here in the shop, you know, sometimes life is loud and it hurts your ears. Well, let me turn you around here so you can see me. Well, uh, wow, I don't know why it it'd always be over, it, it's always overexposing. Anyways. Uh, we're going to take a couple minute break for some first aid, and then uh, once we get a little bit of paper towel and black tape and make that stop bleeding, and then maybe get some x-rays for that broken thumb. Not really, because I don't do that. I got work to do, but we're going to we're gonna definitely uh, get this finger cleaned up with a little, a little cleaning pad. And we'll stick a little band-aid on there and then you know the rest of the day that I'm filming I'll be whining about it about how bad it sucks to have smashed my finger 
on probably the last day I'm in the shop before I go out to work. So it's good stuff. Uh, it's no big deal. It all still articulates. We'll catch you in a minute. All right, so uh, bandages is applied. Uh, this stuff's all still pretty hot. I'm just basically going to tap that pin out the rest of the way to cover my socket. And let me just tell you, you know, if you buy these sockets from the auto parts store, wow, that's super hot. If you buy those cheap sockets from the auto parts store, uh, you know, when you need when you need a socket you don't have. Let me talk to you for a minute. Let's have a little bit of church. So when you need a socket you don't have. And the snap-on snap guy's not coming for two weeks and blah, blah, blah. And you find yourself needing a thin wall, cheapy socket. You, you go to your O'Reilly's or wherever and, and you get your socket. And then when you use it as a, as a press tool and you break it, which I didn't, that socket's still good. Uh, you know, even the chrome's still good on it. Uh, if I were to have broke it, I wouldn't care as long as I got the job done. So uh, here goes, let's get back looking at it for a second. There it is, victory. Well, threw all my ugly at you at the same time there. So this is one piece and this is another. And I assume that uh, when this goes in the in the main body, and then this finds its way through here, I assume we're going to want to put some slider on there, maybe some anti-seize, so that that, you know, does its thing, whatever. Uh, so that's what they look like. This is uh, this pin number is K179-266. And this one is like, let me get a gander because I snapped a picture of it. And this number is 66D as in Delta 608. Um, and both of those are uh, from Pack Car. They got a little, little backwoods cutter here in case we have any mosquitoes. I think that's left over from... Florida, although Georgia does have mosquitoes, they're just not as big of a deal. Uh, boy, that's still a little bit warm. Um, I gotta find a way to press that out now. And uh, not really for certain. Yeah, that's pretty warm too. Uh, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get that out. I need a bigger, I guess I'm gonna need a big socket pretty knobbed up I'd say that was probably the reason I don't know if you can see that I'd say this is probably the reason why the cab wasn't setting down see the bushing is all all gone on this side and set this in there and then get this up there yeah. you know maybe that'll do it I doubt it Usually won't. Well, there's what's left of her. Something tells me it was a good idea to change this it. This kind of sucks, but as you can see, this is broken right here. And uh, as you probably can't really see from where you are, a guy just reached in there with a stick welder and tried to fart stick that thing back together. And well, that just doesn't ever work. So. I'm going to try and grind off the turd weld on there, 
and then I'm going to heat this thing up, ding it back straight, clean that whole thing up inside and out, poke it back together, and uh, stick some weld on it, some real weld. And uh, once I got it squared up, welded up, then I'm probably going to brace it on the inside. Uh, And I, while I was there, I warmed it up a little bit and dinged it in. I got it a little bit too far. So, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to tweak it just a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm not really 100% sure. I'm going to line that back up. It's like they did that at some point too. They cut these off and then re-welded them on. I may cut them all the way off, move this around, get it squared up, weld it onto here, reinforce the inside, and then re-weld some of these on
say there's a little bit of water in there. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you all say? Yeah, it might be warm. It might have. It is really warm. It might have some water in there. All right, let's let that cool off. Oh, tipped you over. Okay, let's let that cool off a bit, and then I'll get to cleaning it up, and uh, we'll check it out. Okay, so I got it cleaned up. I got those cross plates cut off, and cleaned up on both sides. Here's the problem. I don't know if you can see in there, but because because this truck was operated for what I think was a long time with this hinge busted it, it sat in there sideways like that I don't know if you can I don't know if you can get a, a, a good look at how that's sitting but I think it was sitting in there sideways uh, the weight of the cab rocking on it had worn this thing sideways and uh man that's just no good so if i were to square it up there's a huge huge gap to fill and since that's where all of the stress and all of the weight of lifting the cab up lies i don't think it's safe to weld that now I had planned on welding that up and then plating it on the inside and plating, you know, putting uh, angle, you know, just a, a triangle brace on both sides to give this some rigidity. But I don't know if I can even do that. Like, I'm just not sure where to go with it. Uh, I mean, I'm not afraid of it. Don't get me wrong. Uh but I just don't know about bridging this gap. Now, if I had any of this material and I went to a couple steel shops to see if I could get a piece, I would have cut this off and ground that all up and got a piece that's this long and welded it, you know, welded along the sides, welded it inside. Uh, the problem is I, I don't have any of that and I can't get any. Um, I can't get any right now. <sighs> hmm. Uh. So I don't know what to do. Part of me wants to just bridge that gap, weld it up, um, plate it on both sides, call it good, put new pins in it and stick it in there. But man, it sure was hard to get it out. And uh, I just can't even imagine taking that baby out of there again. Uh, so I'm gonna think about it for a little bit. I'm gonna... I'm just going to think about it. I am I got a call a little bit ago. Said the injector's on its way for the 6V92 and Mad Max. So maybe I'll switch gears and uh, and wait on this. I really, really wanted to take the weekend off. Uh, 
of working in the shop so I could study. Uh, but I also wanted to have the cab sitting on its own hinge before I left. Ah, frustrating. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. What's up, guys? So I decided I was going to uh, replace that piece. So because I couldn't find any, this is what I'm doing instead. So I bought a piece of uh, box tubing and I, I'm cutting this, I'm splitting it with a, with a uh, cutoff wheel. So I'll, I'll let you sit here and uh, enjoy the show because it's really so much fun. So this thing is super hot. I don't know if you want to if you want to just take my word for it or if you want to touch it, but so there it is. So there it is. Uh, it's hot. We'll let it cool off, then we'll clean it all up. Here's the new piece. It's still super hot, but uh, I just took a piece of box tubing and cut it down. And you'll see that it's it's an additional sixteenth of an inch thick um, for strength. And so what I decided was I would just make it a few inches longer, right? And so and I need a real I need a real welding table. So instead of cutting it all the way out and trying to get this whole thing undone I'm just going to go back to there what do you think of that and uh, you know what I should have just I should have just cut that thing the extra two inches and replace the whole thing so let's see what I got left I got uh, I still have this piece so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this the additional two inches and uh, replace that whole piece Dang it, I didn't really want to do that. But uh, I can tell you right now that that's going to be like my best bet because this piece is cracked anyways. What? That was dumb. That was dumb of me to decide to do it the way I did. So what are we going to need total? Totally we're going to need... Uh, It's like uh, three and a half more inches so it's gonna be let's see it's gonna be 26 and a half total yeah so we're gonna do that Dang it. In case I decide to publish this a little bit, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Thanks for coming away.